The rest is not up to you. How or when it shows up is not up to you. And let me tell you, whenever it comes in, it's going to be perfect. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Lorena and I'm a somatic self-concept and manifestation coach. And I support women to shift their self-concept, embody a new state of being sustainably, holistically through an emotionally integrated approach that I have uniquely developed. And that's all so that you can step into your highest potential, align with your authentic soul desires, and essentially bridge the gap between who you currently are or see yourself as and who you desire to be or become. And that will support you in manifesting anything you want with so much more ease. If you like this video, then please leave a like. If you want to see more content about your self-concept, manifestation, shadow work, all that good stuff, then please subscribe. I also always love hearing from you in the comments. And I also invite you to check out the links in the description box below. There you will find a bunch of free resources and also information on how you can work with me more intimately, how you can get coached by me. Okay, so to start this off, just take a moment and just think about some of the things that you have manifested in your life, consciously or unconsciously, it does not matter. And most likely you will find that these things happened either in a way that you didn't expect it to come through, you envisioned it to happen slightly differently than it did, and it surprised you how it did come through, Maybe it happened in a form where it was even better than you imagined, because our imagination is actually pretty limited. It's not as boundless as we would like to think. Or maybe something didn't work out, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise, leading you somewhere else, being a bridge to somewhere else. Or it happened at a time when you absolutely did not expect it. That's mostly what happens. It never comes when you're waiting. It comes when you're living your life. Now your manifestation will come when you least expect it. And I wanna talk a little bit more about the timing of your manifestation. I do have some more in-depth videos on the topic of timing. So I will link them in the description box below so you can watch them too. But what I just wanna make clear is that the timing is not up to you. The timing is not up to you, but what is up to you is the necessary steps that you have to take in order to shift your state of being long-term sustainably, to shift your self-concept, to take aligned action towards your desires, and to take the steps to make the moves that will help you to collapse time. That is all your job. And it's why I'm such a big believer in coaching and why I have become a coach. It really collapses time. It really accelerates the process. I believe that where I am today, if I had not invested in support, in the right support, let me rephrase that, in the right support, it would have probably taken me 10 years instead of like two or three. And I see this in my clients too, who work on something for many months, maybe years, and then they work with me and in a few weeks or a few months, things shift massively for them. So while this is absolutely not mandatory, it will help you collapse time to take the right actions, to take the right steps and to take some risks and put yourself out of your comfort zone and to invest in the right support, of course. So that's all your job. It's also your job to make sure that you are ready to receive your manifestation. That means you need to work on expanding your nervous system to get it ready to receive, which is a big, big part of my methodology. And the way I teach you this in my coaching program is radically different from anything that you've experienced before. It's not just nervous system regulation techniques. It's not just things that you find on YouTube. So expanding your nervous system, also your job. It's also your job to shift your self-concept, right? That's, that's all we're about on this channel, right? Everything I teach you goes into changing your self-concept. And that is so important because it gets you ready to receive your manifestation. Ultimately, that will ensure that you're not delaying it because you can delay your manifestation. You absolutely can. And it will also ensure that when it does come in, basically, if you don't do the work to be ready to receive your manifestation, if you don't get prepared for it, it will probably not come in. And even if it does, 
it might not last. You might unconsciously push it away. You might feel overwhelmed by it. It might not last. So all of these things are your job. So it's not about waiting for something to happen. You do need to do something. In fact, you can absolutely delay your manifestation by sitting around and waiting and hoping and wishing, by going in cycles back and forth, trying to be in a specific state and then moving forward and back. But if you are taking the steps to make it happen, if you take the right moves, take the right steps, if you take the risks, if you get yourself out of your comfort zone, the rest is not up to you. How or when it shows up is not up to you. And let me tell you, whenever it comes in, it's going to be perfect. Enjoy that element of surprise. Actually, enjoy the process. Observe what happens in the process. Enjoy who you are becoming through that process, even through the obstacles that you're experiencing. Every obstacle in your reality is ultimately going to support you. Let life surprise you and be curious, rather than trying to cling on to control so tightly. Now, I also want to speak to having a mindset and a consciousness of abundance, allowing for this element of surprise and allowing your manifestation to unfold however it needs to requires you to be in abundance. Essentially, if you're clinging on, if you are trying to control the details, if you can't be comfortable taking risks, putting something at stake or going all in or embracing uncertainty, you are living from scarcity. You're living from fear. Basically, if you are restricting the options of how or when something can come through for you, you are managing your manifestation and you are thereby limiting it. You are limiting all the infinite ways it can manifest for you. So limiting it means you're delaying it. Which, by the way, that's why I don't teach all that specific person stuff. First of all, I'm not into it. Second of all, I support you in manifesting whatever it is you desire. I truly don't care, I don't judge, but nine times out of ten, people just focus on a specific person because they are in lack. I've had clients successfully manifest their exes back or manifest a specific person that they had their eye on. But most of the time, they actually move on because they realize that their desire ultimately came from lack and trying to control and That way, it never happens anyway. Basically, very often, people attach to a specific person because they don't actually deep down believe that there's something out there for them, that there's the exact feeling, experience, relationship they want out there for them. And so they basically attach to a person they already know or know of and try to shape them into who they want them to be. So I don't judge your desires. And when you come to work with me, my priority is you, getting you embodied sustainably in the self-concept that will naturally align you to your authentic soul desires. So you can absolutely come to me with any desire that's in your heart and ask yourself, where are you limiting yourself? Where are you restricting the potential for your manifestations? Where are you conditioning your desires? Where are you trying to control how or when things can happen? And really sit with what you truly want. And then also, allow for the magic, allow for the element of surprise. There's this quote, I forgot who it's by, but I'll put it on the screen. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And it's so true. If you don't see something as possible for yourself, no way it can happen. If you don't believe in magic, if you let your past dictate what your future will be, if you let your current circumstances hold you back from taking action, you're not going to come across the magic that does exist for you. Ask yourself, where are you holding yourself back just because you put on limitations on something that you can't even be really sure exist? Let me know in the comments, what would you do if you were to let all the limitations and urges to control go? I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again next week.